an increasingly volatile market that's been racked with all sorts of vicious cross currents of late. How would you like to own a consistent, steady company with a consistent, steady stock? I'm talking about Henry Schein, HSIC for you home gamers. This one's a gem. It's one of the world's largest distributors of healthcare products and services for dentists, a terrific duopoly business where they're really the number one player, as well as veterinarians, where they're also number one, and doctors, where they, the company's a major supplier of vaccines and much other equipment. Now, Henry Schein has had a history of growing via clever acquisitions, something that works very well for them because this is a very fragmented industry. Just since October, they've done six deals. I think this consolidation makes for a compelling story. Plus, when the company last reported back in February, management delivered some very solid results. This stock has given us a bountiful, a quiet, shouldn't be, I'm not going to make a little noisier tonight, a bountiful 55% gain since we last spoke to the CEO a little less than a year and a half ago. And it's done so by gradually chugging higher. So, does this name have more room to run? Let's take a closer look with Stanley Bergman, He's the chairman and CEO of Henry Schein, Find out more about his company and its prospects. Mr. Bergman, welcome back to Mad Money. Good, good to see you, to sir. See you again. Have a good seat. To Thank see you. you. Sure. Well, you delivered. You said you would deliver, and boy, have you ever. And I realized that I, I focused on dental, and we will go back to dental. Talk a little about medical. It was this veterinary business that I thought was such a standout grower this quarter. Talk to us about that. Well, we are, uh, Jim, the largest distributor of products to veterinarians who are taking care of companion animals. And the demographics are working well. More People are buying more pets and are taking their pets to the veterinarian to be taken care of. And it, there, there are more things being done to animals. I mean, you have a dental business. Yes. You have a dental veterinary business. Correct. And that's fascinating. One of the fastest growing parts of the whole veterinary uh, medicine arena is veterinary dentistry, which Henry Schein actually was involved in inventing uh, or conceiving together with veterinarians about two and a half decades ago. Well, as someone who has pets, I know that it can be expensive. How can that business be growing so well when not everybody has pet insurance? Well, first of all, um, the demographics. The uh, elderly, the baby right. boomers, uh, they want companions. The middle class is growing throughout the world, and people are spending more money on their pets, and they want their pets to get the best care. I thought something else was interesting. You have a really interesting implant business. Now, that's something else that in some places can be discretionary. You're doing quite well in that business. The implant business is very, very important, Jim. Uh, there is no doubt that the best way to preserve uh, the full mouth mm -hmm. is to replace a tooth with an implant. Bottom line is implants are far better from an oral care point of view from a prosthetics, from a day-to-day -day comfort point of view to the patient, and the prosthetic business is growing throughout the world, and specifically, believe it or not, in the developing world. Right, I saw that in developing world. I was also very interested to see that there many of your businesses in, in Europe have turned up, too. There's just a rising tide, right? Well, the business in Europe is doing better. Of course, right. Europe went through its recession. I believe that Europe is on the mend. I think the dynamics in Europe are good. I think there are many markets in Europe that are swinging uh, forward. I think uh, Germany is one, but even countries like Italy and Spain from a low number are doing better. Yeah, that's very important. Now, we have a lot of what I regard as being lower tech products here. Right. But I detect from some of the work that I've been reading about you in dentistry that there's a stealth technology aspect to your company that I didn't know about. Yes. Well, clearly, Today, the notion is prevention and wellness. Moving procedures from the hospital to the doctor's office. Healthcare reform is about taking care of patients in the, in the doctor's office to prevent them from going into the hospital. Wellness and prevention. Oral care is an important part of that. The big move in oral care is technology and the digitalization of, uh, of dentistry. What is digitalization of dentistry? Well, I mean, as an example. Well, I mean, I have a good dentist. Am I being digitized? <laughs> you will be digitized. So how's this work? Today, when you go to the dentist, the majority of impressions are still taken with impression material. Yeah, exactly. That's when what When you does. go to the dentist in the next decade or so, and over the next decade, there will be a procedure that will take place that will be a scan of the mouth. That scan will go to a computer. The computer will mill a crown or a bridge chair side, and you'll be out of the dental office within one no, hour. The, no, no four, no four uh, appointments, no back no, and forth? Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case anymore, and it's going to be much more user-friendly and more accurate, and the technology is superb. Last question. I love your razor, razor blade business. So will this be something where you will provide the machine and then, again, still the yes, consumables? Yes, of course. The scan will be 
electronic, but then the milling of the crown and bridge will take place with consumable products. You guys are going to make a fortune. <laughs> this is know. one great company. All right, that's Stanley Bergman, chairman and CEO of Henry Schein, HSIC. You want consistent growth and you want to sleep at night. Believe it or not, there's a company that gives it to you. It's Henry Schein. Stay with Kramer.